Hi, my beautiful butterflies. My name is Ashley, A-S-H-L-I-E, and don't you forget to subscribe to me. For today's video, I came over to my mom's and picked out a bunch of makeup that I have never used and never tried before. So without further ado, let's get into it. To start, I picked out from Smashbox their Photo Finish Foundation Primer in light. It says oil free. Let's try this on the face. I figured it would be exciting to just try a bunch of makeup that I have never used before. I'm just going to use this right in the T-zone. When I say T-zone, I mean just here and here. You don't usually need to put too much on the outskirts of your face. The trouble areas are usually just in the T-zone where you sweat more. Or you could be more oily. Let's put my hair back or it's going to draw me crazy. Next, I'm going to go in with Milani Eyeshadow Primer. It's lightweight, invisible finish. Works on all skin tones. That's what this looks like. I'm going to put a little bit of this on each eyelid. It's actually like a beige color. It's like the color of my skin, maybe a little bit warmer. Feels pretty soft, like a little oily. Dries down pretty fast. Okay. My skin, it really feels like nothing is on it. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a bad thing. I guess we'll find out. So now everything is primed. I'm going to let that settle in the skin. I'm going to go in with the NYX Fill and Fluff for my eyebrows. This one is in taupe. Okay, first, really quick, it has like a little brush. It looks like this. A little different than a spoolie. Let's comb it straight up. It's pretty cool. It's like a triangular shape to it. They say it should make for an easier application. Okay, and one last time, I'm just going to comb them straight up. This little brush feels nice on the skin. It's not hard like a spoolie at all. It combs right through it. The palette I picked up today is from Juvia's Place. It is called The Tribe. Here's what it looks like. It has a pretty unique color story. That's why I chose it for today's look. I have tried Juvia's Place in the past and they are really good quality eyeshadows but I have never used this palette for today I'm going to do something a little different I want to try out some of these colors especially this one because it looks awesome it is called Kuba the first color I'm going to dip into is Maasai here's what it looks like like a yellowish green and I'm just going to work that in my crease On my skin, it kind of comes off like a yellow highlighter. So let's use that as a transition. It's very pigmented when you first put it on the skin, but as you blend out, this color at least looks like it's fading away a bit. Tootsie and this green right here. Such a pretty green though. I like have never done a look in green before, so this will be interesting. It's all trial and error at this point. Next, I'm gonna go into the darker blue in sand, like a teal. Just put that right on the outer corner 
I have such bad dry eye, it's ridiculous. My eyes are always watering, so sometimes applying makeup, it's really hard because it just washes my makeup away. Especially when I do liquid liner and trying to put wings, it's crazy hard. So far after the first, rest of them are blending a bit easier. They're a lot easier to work with. They're not blending away like the first one was. I'm curious to take some of this Kuba. It's like a bluish shimmer. My middle finger, so I'm not getting at the finger. I'm just applying some shimmer with my finger. There is a bit of fallout with this palette, but that's why I always do my eyes first. And that way I don't mess up my makeup when I have to clean up under my eyes. So that shimmer went on very nicely. I'm going with this lighter shimmer, just on the inner corner. Now with a completely clean brush, I'm just going to go along the outside edges just to make sure everything is blended together seamlessly. Okay, so far, so good. Usually really quick with a makeup wipe, take one finger and just clean up under the eyes. Take my fingers and make sure that's patted dry. Today I'm going to use a foundation I have never used before, Clinique. It's what it looks like. It's a little like sample bottle. It seems to just be your skin but better. That of the bottle pretty fast. I'm going to go in with a beauty blender today. Just going to make a few dots of the foundation on my face. I'm not really expecting much coverage. I'm just hoping it's a light to medium coverage usually with foundations if you want more of a medium and put about two layers on I'm not liking how the sponge is putting it on for me I'm just thinking that the foundation dries pretty fast so I'm just going to go in with an it foundation brush and just re go over it with that Sometimes the brushes are just a lot faster to work with. Yeah, I can tell with the second layer, there's a lot more coverage. I'm liking the way it is looking on my skin so far. Just gives a natural, sheer do to it. So that is what I'm going to keep. So, so far, this is very nice, but it dries pretty fast, so be careful with that. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild in Photo Focus. And just do a line here. And a line here. I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender. Actually, just squeeze the top of it to make the point a little bit smaller, so you can get really in that tight corner. Coverage on the Wet n Wild is about a medium. I'm not too sure if it builds up. I'm just going to put maybe two more drops to see if you can build up the concealer. So I usually have really dark circles under my eyes, so I don't like when they come through. Okay, so it seems that you can build it up. So you'd have to put two layers instead of one of the concealer. And then to set it, I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter. Here's what it looks like. It is in translucent. I'm just going to tap a little bit into the top of the lid with a fluffy brush. I'm just going to get a little bit on the brush and just go right like that with the powder just to set the concealer so it doesn't 
set into the fine lines under your eyes. It seems to blur a little bit, which is nice. For bronzer today, I'm trying something new that I got from TJ Maxx from Ellen Tracy Sunkissed Bronzer. It's supposed to have a little glow to it as well. It's really pretty. It has like flowers and it looks, you know how you see that gold shimmer in it? Pretty interested to see how this comes out. For blush, I have the Rare Beauty Blush in Joy. I just love her packaging. It is so cute. But I heard it's very pigmented, so I'm only going to go in with three little drops and see what happens. It's a pretty color. That seems to dry down pretty fast as well, so you have to work with it pretty quickly. But it's nice to know you don't have to use much product, so it will last you a long time. One dot on my nose, because I like a little bit of blush at the tip of my nose. So far, so good. I'm going to go in with the Catrice Cosmetics highlighter in the color 010 Lumi. Like a goldish highlight. Just put a little bit at the tops of my cheeks. That's about it. But I do actually want to use this on a smaller brush to put some highlight at my brow bone on each side and the inner corners. It's a really nice highlighter. I'm going to go back into the Juvia's Place eyeshadows. Okay, I'm going to first go in with the darkest shade, Sand. And just put most of this on the outer third. I'm like barely just touching. It's kind of just like grazing the hair. And it still puts out all that pigment. I'm going to go in next with this green. Try to just smoke that out a little bit. And then the last color, that highlight color just at the bottom. Besides that first shade, I had no other issues with any of the other colors. They're very pigmented. They seem to blend really well together, and I really enjoyed using all of these shimmers. For mascara, I'm going to go in with Tarte Sea Surfer Curl. It's kind of like a light green packaging. Here's what the applicator looks like. I'm going to start on the bottom lashes. About every time I wiggle the applicator on the bottom, I always tend to get it on my face. But I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes while I finish the rest so it comes off a lot easier. So even with just one layer of this mascara, it gave pretty good volume. It didn't clump them at all. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when mascaras just go from like nothing to super clumped looking. I'm going to go in with just one more layer on each just to see if it's buildable with volume. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I really like this mascara. Okay, so here's what the mascara looks like. Today for my lips, I'm going to use a MAC lipstick in Hug Me. Here's what the color looks like. It's more on the nude side, but I wanted more of a soft nude color since we were doing a little bit of a crazy eye. Oh my god, it's so soft. I love 
MAC lipsticks because they are literally like putting butter on your lips. And for a setting spray, I'm going to use the Anastasia setting spray. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. I always love it. And to open it, you have to just twist it and then it can spray. It has a pretty harsh sprayer. It's not too fine, but it smells really good and it feels good on the skin. I guess we'll see how our makeup lasts with it on to judge. All in all, I really like today's look. My least favorite product today is probably the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer because I'm more used to full coverage concealers and this just does not have full coverage. But other than that, I loved all the other products that I used today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see my eyeshadow palettes, my 2021 collection, I am going to be posting that on Wednesday. See you then.